Okay, this is just a quick Excel tutorial on how we can find multiple things and delete them all at once. So in this instance, what I've done is kind of, um, it's just a website dump of kind of pages, files, etc. And what I want to do is go through and pull out all of the things that aren't pages. So in this case, just like the JPEG extensions or PNG extensions. So we kind of know something where we you know they all share that and we can find it so what we'll do is we're looking for essentially the words or the you know these characters dot jpeg so the way we can do it if we click up here and that highlights everything here and i've done that just so you can see this one won't be included so you highlight everything that you want to search through and then we'll come up to find and select and we just go to find and then here, this is what we can look for. So in my instance, you know, it's .jpg. You might have a common word or phrase or number or character that you kind of want to find. And then what you can do is press find all. And you can see here it's found 858 of them. So manually that is going to take me a long, long time. And you can kind of see if we just come out of that quickly. We've got 1400. <laughs> 1400 records in here so it's not a small amount so um, if we come in and we'll just go to find again so find all um, and what you can do if you come down into this bit you can just click on one of these and then uh, depending off if you're on a Mac or a PC on a Mac you can do command and A um, if you're on a PC you can do control and A and it won't seem like it's done anything but essentially what we're doing is a select tool depending on how many cells you've got in there so i've got loads 858 it takes a little while to kind of go through and kind of grab all of those cells if you've got like 10 or 50 or something like that it's a lot quicker but you'll see in a second here we go it's grabbed all of those cells and then what we can do is just kind of come back over to here just make sure you're on top of one of the ones that's been selected right click on it go to delete and then you've got the option to shift the cells up or you know do what you want to do with it depending on what your sheet is like but you can kind of see there that it has selected all of the jpegs i would recommend at this point that you go through and just double check that there wasn't an instance where it selected something maybe that you didn't want it to delete but i know in this instance that you know that is what i want to get rid of so i'm going to hit delete and i'm going to shift the cells up and then you can see what we had originally was um, about 1500 cells or so or you know over a thousand and now we've got 549 and you can also see that our .jpg up here is still intact because it was only this that we searched through so um, just kind of be mindful of that if you search through the whole sheet it's, it's going to delete things from the other cells as well and then you know the next thing I'd kind of do on this is just do it again because there, there are other bits I want to get rid of so I also want to get rid of .png so I can find all you can see I've got 90 we do the same process again for me command and A because I'm on a Mac and it will be ever so slightly quicker because it's only doing 90 cells this time rather than 800 cells that we kind of had last time so it's going to be a little bit quicker at running through and getting them all again probably part of this as well might depend on like you know how quick your machine is and how fast it can kind of process these types of bits but it, it, it sort of takes its own you know amount of time anyway it's how quick excel can kind of run through those cells and and do it so you'll see in a minute it will it will kind of do it and at this stage it's probably worth you know if you're unsure about it just leave it for you know leave it for a little bit just do something else quickly or you know grab a cup of tea or whatever it is that you you can kind of do to take a break um and then do a, like a select all again just in case it didn't work so in this case you can see it has just worked and then we'll right click delete again shift the cells up and then you can see we've gone from sort of 550 cells to 450 and then i would just keep doing this for like all these kind of things like i say you know you might have different things you want to find or do um and then in the next video i'm going to kind of look at how you can remove blank cells from um, bits and pieces like this so if you want to see that obviously I've, i can link to it at the end and you can kind of check that out but hopefully you found that helpful if you have give the video a like if you want to see more content like this then please subscribe